Alright guys, what is going on? I am here with another video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the differences between... Well, not kind of like showing you, but I'm going to be kind of like telling you the differences between synthetic... Uh, bristle hairbrush, and uh, I don't have it on me because it's drying, but the... Um, the badger brush that you guys saw in the last video. Uh, I'm also going to be talking about <clears throat> safety razors, uh, different kinds of safety razor blades, and then the two types of straight razors. Now this is going to be kind of a longer video, so uh, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, just kind of skip around until you find a part that you're wanting to watch. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, so there are many different types of safety razors and there are only a couple different types of straight razors uh as far as i know um so we'll start off with straight razors because the other fun will be later um so this is something that i've had for a while that i haven't used in also a while because i have not sharpened it um but this straight razor is just a regular straight razor. I do believe this is a two and three quarter inch blade. Um, it'll still shave somewhat, just not comfortably. If you shave with a straight razor and it's not a comfortable shave, as in it feels like it's tugging hair or it's causing ingrown hairs or some sort of shaving irritation, it's more than likely that it is not sharp enough now a way that you could sharpen it is by using a leather strop i have two of them uh one i have for the linen side i have this stuff on it which is chromium oxide it kind of helps with the shaving process or the uh the sharpening process um and then the other one i have it's just plain um, because I put the I put the chromium oxide on the leather on the leather side for my other one too, which was kind of pointless. But I don't need it anymore. Um, but yeah, so chances are, if it's not shaving comfortably, there could be one of two reasons: either one, your face is too sensitive to shave with a straight razor, or B, it is not sharp enough. So if it doesn't get sharp enough uh, with a drop, then go ahead and get a sharpening stone. Um, if you want to get a set, that's fine. Or if you just want to get one stone, get a, uh, a wet stone, a 4,000 and 8,000 grit. For most uh, of the wet stones, they do have one side be one thing and the other side be another so that you don't have to get two different type of stones. So get a 4,000, 8,000 grit stone. Um, otherwise, straight razor. So the second type of straight razor is known as a chevette. And this comes apart and then you load a blade with these two pins right here, which I have a blade right here so I can show you. So let me go ahead and get this set up. All right, so if you're not familiar with how to load a Chevette blade, for the most part, not for the most part, it, it is. It's one full double-edged razor already cut in a half. You could also take a regular double-edged blade and just snap it in half so that you could use it like that. Because I've seen some people do that with feather blades so that they have sharper blades. But anyway, just go ahead and take that. And then, of course, be very careful when you are handling blades of any kind. I don't know how easily it's going to be for you to see, but right here you're gonna line you're gonna line up 
this hole and this hole. And you're going to just do that. And then you're going to put the one side back, lock it in place. And then it's going to be kind of hard to see, but there's the blade right here sticking up. Trying to get it to where you can actually see right here. So this uh, is almost no different than shaving with a safety razor. Let me explain. A, str uh, a shave it straight razor blade is the exact same as a double edged safety razor blade. Like I mentioned, the only difference is that this is already cut in half normally by the manufacturer so that you don't have to break your blades to do it. Um, so it's the same blade. You will never get a straight razor sharper than a safety razor blade. Only because a straight razor will never be that thin. Um, and just from what I've read and from who I've talked to and everything, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> Alright, so we'll take a little break from those. And real quick, I will talk about shaving brushes. Now, I've got the... Badger brush in the bathroom, like I said, because it's drying. I have two synthetics, two synthetic brushes, and then I have a four, uh, four brush. You know what? Let me actually look up the uh, actual name for this brush. Okay, so it is a pure bristle shaving brush made by uh, Omega, and like I said, I just got this the other day. I have not tried it yet. I'm gonna be shaving with it today. Um, but as far as I know, just like the Badger brush, you can get a very good lather with this. Now, if you didn't see my video that I posted before this one, go and check it out. It's about how to make a very nice lather for your face. Um, and like I mentioned in that video, I like more of a thicker lather. If you want something more on the thinner side, definitely use a synthetic brush. So, back to the brushes. Um, first, of course, I'll talk about the synthetics. There are different kinds of synthetics. I'm not completely sure on what the difference is between them. I just news. I news. <laughs> I just know that they use synthetic hair. Um, not all of them have the powder white top on them. Uh, I have it like that because they use a different kind of uh, tips for these to where it's like nice and soft instead of like weird like this one uh, I'll leave a link to all my brushes down below sorry my nose is just going crazy today uh, this one has kind of like a crunchy type of feeling for these hairs that's why I like the top because it's nice and soft and then this one is actually soft all around, but the top is even fluffier. <laughs> the pure bristle brush is more of a harder uh, type of brush. Uh, kind of like the same thing as a badger. Um, now, it's not the same hair as the badger, but I still have yet to try this out. I literally just got this the other day, and I have not shaved in... Maybe like a week or two or something like that um, but the difference is uh, for a badger brush you have to let that soak in hot water um, it really all just depends on what you're doing uh, some people say 30 seconds some people say more time than that um, what I'll usually do is I'll let mine soak in the uh, in the cup um, for maybe about a minute or two because uh, while it's soaking, 
I'll wash my face, uh, put on my pre-shave, and then figure out what type of soap I'm using for the, uh, for the lather. And then by then it's usually pretty soaked. <laughs> so, uh, then you just pour out the water, of course, you give it a couple shakes, and then I'll go ahead and make the lather with that. For a synthetic brush, you could either A, run it under, under the hot water, and then just kind of like do like a gentle squeeze of all the water to get out, uh, or you can still use the mug method and um, dip it in there, and then go about your lather because you for a synthetic you do not have to let it soak which is actually probably a benefit for uh for some people who don't want to wait around for stuff like that but just like the badger brush this has to be soaked in for a little bit um i'll know more once i actually test it out myself later on so All right, back to razors and stuff. Um, so neither of these are my first razor. My first one that I got, uh, I threw away um, a couple of weeks ago because I got a new one. Um, so it really all depends on the person, on what kind of safety razor you want. They have a two-piece, three-piece, and a butterfly open. Both of these are butterfly opens. So from the bottom, you twist, and the top comes up like a butterfly. And then on this one, the thing is right here. You twist it, and it opens up like that. So... That's how you would load the blade. If it was if it was a three piece, then you would hold it, of course, without a blade, and then you would just turn the handle until it comes apart, and then it'll turn into three pieces. Same thing with the two piece. <clears throat> um, actually, for the two piece, they have ones that either come off by the handle or they got ones that come off on the top, and the only thing that's there is a safety bar. Um, but this one that I have. I don't know how easily it'll be to see. I'm going to try to do this as best I can. Um, there are numbers. 1 all the way through 10. That puts these safety bars either higher or lower. If it's 1, then the safety bars are all the way up. And the less blade is exposed. When you have it on 10... Uh, it means that it's going to be a very aggressive shave, which means that the blade is going to be totally exposed. When I shave, if it's something like, like what's going on here, then it, then I usually shave about a five or a six. Especially because I got sensitive skin, I can't really shave too, too much. Uh, I've used different kinds of electric razors, cartridge razors. I always break out. I always get ingrown hairs and all that shit. So that's why I switched to a safety razor. And then you got non-adjustable ones like this one here where the manufacturer or company or whatever you want to call it will decide on what the aggressiveness is going to be. As far as I know, uh, this one is a mild aggressive, which means it's a it's like a like a medium kind of between aggressive and not aggressive for the most part at least this is actually made by feather which are the same company as these blades these are feather blades as far as i know these are the sharpest blades on the market i use these by shaving revolution i'm not sponsored by any of these companies by the way which it would be pretty cool though uh by shaving revolution they are not as sharp as feather, but to me they're pretty close. Plus, when I do my neck over here, I I don't ever get cuts or nicks. 
So I um I use those instead. When I use feather blades, I tend to get nicks and cuts all the time, no matter what blade I'm, or uh, what razor I'm using. So if uh, you have any questions about any of this stuff down below in the comments, just let me know. I'll do my best to try and answer. Um, I know I've left stuff out of this video. I just can't think about what I left out. So I really can't continue with certain things because I don't know what I've talked about or not. Um, it's been a long day, let's just say that. Uh, but if you are going to be using something like a safety razor and you have stuff like this, which is a safety razor blade, you're going to want to get something like this, which is a uh, blade bank. So, I usually don't do this, but just to kind of show you, when you're done with blades, you just pop them in here. That way, when this is full, you can toss it out. These are only a couple bucks on Amazon, and uh, after you actually get them filled, which it'll be a while before you get them filled, um, depending on how often you shave, uh, then it, then you just toss them out and get another one. Easy as that. All right, so for loading a razor into a safety into a safety razor. Um, sometimes it can be self-explanatory, but people like myself, when you're just first starting out, it could be an issue. So for the most part, there will be some kind of paper in, uh, or around the blade when you take it out of the wrapping. Usually it's like a little wax or something like this where it's not sticky. So just carefully make sure you take out the blade. And then when you go to put the blade in, of course you just line up the middle, that, just drop it in, and then tighten it up, and then that's it. And then you can go ahead and get ready to shave. And then when you are done with that razor, uh, now, usually, these uh, blades can last usually no more than three shaves because after that, it just starts tugging and pulling. Um, because I buy blades like this where it comes in like a 50 pack or you can buy feather blades if you want to try these out. Uh, they come in like hunter packs and all that stuff. So if you didn't want to shave with the same blade every time, you could literally just take the blade out, put it into the box or the the bank, the razor bank, and then go ahead and get a new one for when you are ready to shave again. Now, like I said, because I have the box of 50, I usually change out the blades after every shave. Uh, but if it's something like this, where it comes in a five pack, um, these come in, uh, five, <sighs> you know what, let me look it up. Okay, so you can get a pack of 50, 10, uh, 30, um, 20, 100, and 200. I don't know why my dog is barking, but he's being annoying now. Um, but yeah, so they come in different amounts. Uh, if you just want to try them out, go ahead and get a 10 count. Um, that's what I did. That's what these are still. Um, they do have two different colors, though. There's a yellow and there's a black. There's no difference. They are the exact same blade. The only difference is how much is in the little cartridge. Now, the nice thing about these is that you take out the old ones or the new ones here and you put the old ones in this slot in the back. 
Um, the yellow packs come in tens, and the black packs come in fives. But it's the exact same blade. So, yeah. Uh, now that I've talked about just about everything I wanted to, I think I can start winding down the video, because I... Uh, kind of uh, checked everything off my list uh, so far and um, yeah so if you guys enjoyed please leave a like um, if you guys have any questions about anything that I talked about today I will do my best to try and answer them in the comments down below um, hit the subscribe button if this channel is something that you're wanting to kind of follow for a bit uh, like I mentioned in my intro uh, this is gonna this channel is gonna be a whole bunch of different stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, Shaving stuff. It's gonna be reviews on products. It, it's gonna be uh, like how to install mods for certain games It's just gonna be a whole bunch of other stuff So yeah, uh, like I said any comments Questions concerns drop them down below in the comments section and I will do my best to answer so thank you guys for watching hope you all enjoyed I'll see you all